And as for those feet, to tighten them up, make sure you read the directions so that you know which way to go. Uh, loosen or tighten with the wrench might mean, might mean something the very opposite. So I got to read that and figure that out. And it also suggests just kind of lift up on the bottom a little bit as you're turning this to make those, to make those uh, go down so that the dishwasher goes up. You know, it's only plastic legs on plastic threads. Be careful with that. Remember I said those screws are really short. Look how, look how short they are. They're not very long at all. Those are the two screws that come with this mounting bar. Okay, and then you pick whichever hole lines up to wherever you got that. We'll, we'll have to figure that out and I'll have to make a decision once and for all where, where to cut this. And even when I cut it, good grief, if that back hole is, is not where it needs to be, I might have to drill a hole in on the side somehow and get it up in there. We'll see. Might have to finagle a little bit. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Well, I'm still working on it. And uh, I didn't use my pliers or my wrench to loosen up those legs. I just lifted it up. Lift it up and, and take the, the weight off it and then just unscrew it with your fingers. And I did that on both sides. And I got this level. And then I checked along the side. Um, this should be pretty much flush. This should be plumb. Okay, I didn't put my level on there, but I did put it on the side of the uh, dishwasher edge. You know, on this edge, right along there. I just held my, my level up there, checked it. I got it up a little bit too high, and then I just loosened the the screw tightened down the screw a little bit and that bottom wheel went down a little bit and I've got this the only thing I've, I've got now see these cabinets might not be uh, uh, exactly um, standard height cabinets because look at this here this is what I wanted to show you You see, here's my bracket. Well, here's that top thing. I, I could still, I could raise that up, you know, another three quarters of an inch, but it tells you not to go any higher than an inch or a half an inch. I've already got it a little bit more than a half an inch. And even if I go up an inch, I'm still gonna have a gap there. And so I cut, I cut this off and, it, and at first I was thinking, maybe I don't even screw these in at all. You know, but if you do that, then your your dishwasher your your dishwasher is going to be loose at the at the top when you open and close it. Now, I could tell Momi, hey, just make sure you put your thumb right there and open it, and just be careful with it. Nothing will happen. See, but if if uh, we end up turning this into an Airbnb later on or a rental or something. If, if somebody just pulls on here, this is gonna, this, this here is gonna wiggle just a little bit. And I can't tell everybody, hey, make sure you put your thumb there and pull on that, okay? And so, you see, remember those little screws? There's no way I can use these little screws. Now there's a couple of different things you could do. What could I do to fix this? Well, I cut the, I cut the first tab off because it was sticking out. This first little bit of tab was sticking out way too far. So now we get this closed. You look under there, you're gonna see that, but I'm gonna raise, I'm gonna raise that. Um, you see, this is, this is kind of swivelable there, like that, see? I'm gonna raise it up and push it back and hold it like that and get a little bit of a longer screw and put this in at an angle like that. Okay, and I'm gonna do that on both sides. What else could I have done? I mean, I would have had to pull this back out, take this out and lower this down three quarters of an inch. I'm not gonna do that. 
I'm gonna leave this up here maybe for the next dishwasher. I mean, that was 75 bucks. That, I, you could take it out and return it if you wanted. I don't know if it's 70, it's 75 dollars installed. So I think you can buy them at, at the Home Depot or Lowe's or something for, I don't know, maybe 25 bucks or so. I, I, I just don't know, okay? And so, but I'm gonna leave that there and that's gonna, that's gonna be my holding area for that, see? Then um, this, even though it's coming up at an angle, I'll be able to put that, put a screw in there and tighten her up and just have it at an angle. If that didn't work, what else could you do? Yeah, you could take, you could take one of these out and, uh, you know, there's, there's, a, there, there's a certain way to go in there, but remember when this was out, there wasn't a hole for a screw or anything. I'm not quite sure how, how they uh, attach it there. You'd have to drill a hole in through here, put a stainless steel screw in there on both sides, put silicone around it, make sure it didn't hit this edge, all that kind of good stuff. And because uh, you wouldn't want that to leak, you wouldn't want that to rust, and you could, you could attach it that way. But see, because I've got that up there, and once I put that up like that, and get a little bit longer screw in there, okay, that will keep that from moving around. And it'll be up high enough to where I, I won't be able to, when I close that, I shouldn't see that little piece there either because that's gonna be pushed up kind of tight. So when you're standing here like this, you shouldn't see that at all. And you see, I look at that line and if anything, before, before I do anything, it looks like I need to push the whole thing over just a hair. And uh, now that I've lifted up the, uh, the screws and, uh, or the legs and stuff, it sticks out about a sixteenth right here. And let me fill this edge. This side's pretty much flush. And so, you see, this is, this is a nice edge, nice and straight there. So all I have to do is push this leg in a sixteenth of an inch and uh, that should fix me. That should fix that up. And I'm pretty sure it will go. I, I just, it kind of moved a little bit as I was lifting this up. There, I got it flush right there. That's all I had to do. And this edge, oh that looks nice, that looks sweet. And Remember the, the uh, weather stripping that was sticking out? I didn't know. I, I guess I could have left that on, on the outside edge, but I just, I just rolled it under. I rolled this side under, see? It's like that. I guess you could leave it out if you want it. It looks like I'm almost ready to get that hooked up, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fish around. And lucky for me, I've got some small, I've got some small screws and see, Here's, here's a couple screws. I think those, those might do it. Those very well could do it, but see they gave me four of those screws and two of those I know is for uh, this toe kick thing. I'll have to look at that and make sure I only need two screws down there. In fact, you know what? I think there's four screw, uh, two screw holes on both sides. I wasn't quite sure what these black ones were for. I guess they, they said either, either, either color. And see, I could use the black ones on here and maybe just use two of those. So I'll, I'll have to check that out. If I use those for that, then I could try to maybe use a couple of those to mount these. And if not, if I need a little bit longer screw than that, I think I got some. So I'll get that all secured and nice. I wanna get this all nice, 100%. Uh, prior to me hooking this up, and I'm almost there. There, 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 there. I got it. I got it. I put that up at an angle, and I used the longer uh, screws, and I found a hole there. And luckily, this was down just a little bit, so I could screw it in a little bit further over there without hitting the counter. And I tried to use these little screws, they just wouldn't work because that's at the angle. I could have bent that. I could have bent the bracket a little bit and then had it up a little bit tighter right there. 
But I thought, hey, I've got these extra screws because I used the black screws and I had these left right in. And so now this, and see, because I cut that other bit off, see, so you can't see them now, can you? Because they're up there at the angle. And that makes that nice and, nice and solid. And uh, I put that toe kick down. I rebent it and the toe kick has a little bit of a rubber edge on it. So I pushed it down a little bit and used the black screws. One screw on both sides. And then it had the, the weather stripping stuck out beyond this edge. And so I poked that back down in there because see, this has a quarter round trim like this that needs to fit there. And I wanted it to go right up against that, not cut it short and let this dangle out. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I could have done that too, but I've got that quarter round because uh, before we put this uh, vinyl planking in, there was wood uh, slats, oak planking all through this area, boom, 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 and then the oak planking stopped right here, and then it transitioned into carpet. So I took the carpet and pad out, the tack, the tack strip, and all got everything ready, put that down, and then put the nice corner bead uh, quarter uh, trim at the bottom of the existing baseboard down flush to the free floating floor, glued that up against there. Looks pretty good, huh? Almost, it almost looks like I know, like I knew what I was doing. And you can do all that kind of stuff too. I'll show you how to do all that stuff. And then see when I was over here, this was the, uh, the birch quarter round that went around the cabinetry. So I was real careful when I pulled that out and then I just numbered it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and uh, put that on the back side of the trims and stuff. I've got this side reattached because I had to cut the angle at the bottom to line up with the angle of the quarter round of the white. And I did that same thing before I put the uh, uh, refrigerator in and I've got that piece just stuck out. And so I've got to install that piece. That piece is just loose right now. And then um, I've got a piece there, there, one there, one across there and that one. I may have to trim that. If I do, that's okay. I can trim it, but I, I think it's gonna fit in there. That look nice. Okay, so now I've got that all mounted. It's all about uh, hooking this up. That's what's gonna be next. So stick around and I'll show you more. Hey, you gotta, you gotta check out the rest of this if you're planning on installing your, your dishwasher. You just got stuff. All right. See you in a minute, and I'll show you what I do next. See, see when I get ready to uh, adjust that bottom foot, um, I was like, I wish I had something for this, and I do. Just, uh, just this little thing here, and then you can, I can make this straight, or put it just at an angle, or I can do that to, to tighten her down. I really didn't want to use my battery operated drill for that in case I went too far one way or the other. That's kind of slick. Uh, what was that? Stanley? Stanley and it came it came with the uh, with all these with all these bits. Um, standard Phillips uh, square and splined smaller ones and it's even got you know some of these. So it was quite a nice little set. Here's a little extension on it. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's like a little screwdriver for these smaller bits that fit into there. Stanley, get one.